conquer a city is one thing, but to do so with such violence and cruelty is something else entirely. I will return every blow he has landed against my kingdom. We are close, Prince. So close. Let us make him suffer. last line of defense, fallen. These men served my family well. With their defeat, the city is fully in the hands of the Vizier.
Every time I reach him, he slips away. Why will he not just stay and fight? It would make things so much simpler. It is not always about combat, Prince. Some... Some battles are waged in other ways, on other terms. I fear we have underestimated our opponent. Let us not make the same mistake a second time. Babylon had finally fallen, and none were left to come to the prince's aid. He was now the city's only hope. If he failed, his entire world could be lost. For the vizier was not content to simply be a king. No. He fancied himself a god. The question now was whether the prince realized the position he was in. And if he did, would he accept this responsibility? Would he become a hero? Shall I continue my story from here if you are called away? Are you all right? He has escaped. And you? What of the troops? Dead. All dead. But I saw the vizier, or whatever it is he's become. He flew towards the palace. Then we know where to go. All right. But I seem to be, well, stuck. Could you find a way to open this door? I understand the principles of courtesy, but I think you take things a bit too far.
Thank you, Prince. Of course. The problem is, now I am trapped. Just like a woman. Solving her problem creates a new one for you. Allow me to return the favor, then. You were saying... Go on, then. Farah is all right. You are spending way too much time looking after the girl. Is this necessary? You sound upset. Are you jealous? Just focus on getting to the palace. Should I continue from here when you return? <laughs> 